Today, we drove two and a half hours south to a Florida town called Punta Gorda to drink from the radioactive fountain of youth. Punta Gorda is a small town here in Florida. Right now, we're standing in pretty much the center of it. It's almost on the Gulf of Mexico, near it, but not quite on it. Very tiny, very quiet. Right on the corner of Marion and Taylor Street, you will find this water fountain. It's a little out of place and you kind of really don't notice it unless you know where to look. But this right here is the radioactive fountain of youth. Crazy. Right here at the base of it, they have a Florida health notice that says use water at your own risk. The water from this well exceeds the maximum contaminant levels for radioactivity as determined by the United States Environmental Protection Agency under the Safe Drinking Water Act. People drink from this almost on a daily basis and we're here to drink it. Every place we visit, we like to try to take something home with us, some sort of memento. And today we're gonna to fill up the water bottle aside from drinking it. I'm pretty excited about it. Are you scared or are you excited, Jessica? I'm a little scared. A little scared? Yeah. All right, so let's fill this up. So this is gonna go on our shelf, pretty much next to our grave dirt and all of the other little crazy things that we have. You can see it dripping. That's looking a little kooky down there. This little weird stain. What is it, does it smell? What does it smell like? Here, let's smell it. It smells like rotten eggs. Oh, oh my God. Oh. It's one of the mineral components that makes it smell like rotten eggs, but supposedly it's very clean tasting. Better than uh, city water. But I'm, I'm scared to try it because of the smell. So the locals pretty much, I wouldn't say founded it, but recognized it in the late 1800s. And in the 20s, they built this fountain. And like I said earlier, people have been coming here and drinking from this almost on a daily basis. People even swear by it. They wash their cars in it, they cook in it. It's a local landmark here. That stain is just creeping me out. Does it still smell like rotten bit. eggs? It, it dissipates, but um, one of the fun facts of uh, this fountain is being that it's Florida, you know how tourism goes, there's claims of upwards of like 500 different uh, fountain of youth. But why this one may actually be a real fountain of youth is because of all of the mineral properties. Um, apparently, 80% of Americans are deficient in magnesium, which is good for heart, blood flow, and high blood pressure. And this water is extremely high in natural magnesium and so it's easier for your body to absorb instead of taking minerals and uh, minerals and things like that. And um, basically it helps to extend your health a bit. And maybe even live longer. The By fountain extending youth. your health. There you go. <laughs> Eternal beauty. Well, I don't know about that, but. So let's do something that is a little out of this world. Let's drink from the radioactive fountain of youth. Oh, it does have a smell. Oh. <laughs> Thought that the Fountain of Youth in St. Augustine tasted bad. This one, all I can say is it reminds me of dying eggs at Easter. That's nasty. But hopefully I'm gonna live forever or it'd be eternally beautiful. All right, Jessica, it's your turn. You ready for this? You know? Was me was my perfect description of Easter eggs turned you off, or is it you still can't get over the smell from the bottle? I can't get over the smell just from it being on my hands. When you turn the fountain on, I can smell it from like five feet away. All right. Oh so, no, I'm not. 
Well, if you do change your mind, we have some at the house now. It's the Grim Life Collectives. Fountain of Youth, radioactive water right here. Just minuscules amounts of it. But, yeah, I'm not gonna drink from that again. No. There are some people who say that if you just let it sit in your fridge, it tastes a lot cleaner than city water. But I don't know, will the smell dissipate if you just let it sit in an open container? Maybe. Uh, I'm too chicken shit to try. That was probably one of the craziest things I've ever done, and in all actuality, it probably wasn't crazy. It's just the thought of drinking radioactive water. I'm glad we got here to do it. Glad we're taking some home. Would you drink from the radioactive fountain of youth in Punta Gorda? Wherever I come, I'm in love. It's coming my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that in state? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always coming my way. 